Hello, everyone. We're going to test some microphones real quick here. Aaron, can you give us a... <laughs> you beat me to it, you <laughs> asshole. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> but you could hear my lip like... Yeah, okay. we could hear the, the lip smacking. Uh, testing one, two. My mic sounds nice. Check right. one. Thank oh. you. Warren. <laughs> hello, 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 hello. Hello. Yeah. Cleveland, hello. Hi. I reckon y'all can hear me. I hope. Maybe. What do you think, yeah, Thomas? Perfect. That's good. Should we check out? Yeah, I think we should. Oh, thanks. Uh, I won't be speaking much, I'm sure, really. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, uh, I reckon that Uzo will be doing most of the talking this episode. Who knows? Seattle, right. Washington. Hello. <laughs> oh, no. Rest this one's around Rockus. Uh, Hello, everyone, and welcome to Quests and Chaos. We are the Chaos Agents, and tonight we're playing one of the last episodes of Chaos Agents. One of the last? One of the last. Uh, <laughs> as always, we want to thank Nord Games for their uh, awesome partnership in our affiliate link. You hit nordgamesllc.com slash 3.html. Uh, that's our affiliate link, and we get a small percentage of every purchase that we use. Use the code cat 20 You get 20% off. So it's an awesome bonus thing. I don't think I've ever gotten 20% off of anything. But, you know. Well, now's you're our doing, opportunity. You're Little doing your shopping <laughs> wrong, though. I know. I know. I'm getting, they see me coming a mile away. You've never been alive on, on Black Friday. Oh, who goes out shopping on Black Friday? Black uh, Friday is the worst. I lost people on That's Black Friday. <laughs> Driving across the country, I, I ran into a, like a, a New Mexico jewelry store and they had all this like topaz, really beautiful, ornate jewelry. And they were like 50% off. And like the 50% off cost was still like $500. I'm like, this is actually $500. You're trying to make me feel better for spending $500. Stop uh, it. I did that the other day. I got a notice saying 30% off of, you know, this thing. I'm like, oh, let me go check it out. I'm like, Jesus, that's expensive. And I went and looked at uh, another place. And it was, it's the sale price all the time. I'm like, yeah. yeah. All right. So uh, we're going to jump through these announcements. First of all, I want to thank our Patreon members for donating cards to you guys. Uh, this is the deck of inspiration, which you get as a PDF when you join our Patreon. Um, we will have a Kickstarter at some point. I keep saying that name tells me to stop, unless I'm going to follow through with it. Uh, anyway, so uh, you guys have six cards left over. Um, one more time, you get an extra action on your turn, Regeneration, which is like a potion of continuous heal. Guiding Light, uh, you, uh, basically, it's like, I forget the spell but it is a, uh, a way for God to tell you which way to go. Critical okay. strike, turning a regular hit into a critical hit. A little spin lets you, uh, on a single ranged attack, you can ignore all cover if the enemy is within, within five feet of a point you can see. That's basically you can shoot around corners. It's pretty great. You it's have a like, card. You have Tonic. some cards too, don't you? I do have some cards. Wait, uh, we, we still beards. have the Tonic of Charm, right? You do have the Tonic of Charm. That is the very last one there. That was only five. Tonic of Charm, Little Spin, Critical Strike, Guiding Light, Regeneration, one more time. One more time. Yeah. I have tonic of charm. Critical Strike, one more time, and another Critical Strike. Thank you, oh, Shikamaru. 
someone really wants us to die. <laughs> um, so because we are getting very, very close to the last episode of this campaign, these are not going to go away. Um, I think in the future, at the end of the month, unused cards will go away. Uh, so that also means that if you are um, awarding them, feel free to space out over time and kind of figure out when you think they're going to be needed or not needed. Um, so uh, that vote. comes with the note from King Shikamaru to knock them dead. Okay. What did we do? Okay. I trusted you. <laughs> <laughs> but what did so we then, do? <laughs> so that's that. Um, we also have the Guild of the Five E's, which is starting up soon, which is a shared campaign. Um, if you are a Patreon member and you want to play Dungeons and Dragons with us, please um, hit us up, uh, either comment on the Patreon posts or go to the Discord into the Patreon area. If you don't have them linked, do so. And if you can't, reach out and we will help you get them linked together. Because we want, we want as many people to enjoy this story uh, that we are creating as a as a team here at Quest and Chaos um, to to be fun and to be a shared experience. All Come right for the journey. Yes. <laughs> um, there's uh, and then we have some bits, so so we will go ahead and get into some bits. We are going to start off with the four that you have left over from last time. Then we have two 1,000 bits. Hold on, I need the big ones. Mm. 1,000 bits from King Shikamaru, who really hates you guys. Um, that's what two inspiration do? to me. Thank Eddie, you. what did we so do? Much. <laughs> I, I appreciate that. That is just a good time. Remember this. Uh, then we have NGC547 with 500 bits the question however is who gets these bits because they're this is conditioned Ooh. okay so the small ones to the players or the big one to the dm what's the Let's condition see. 500 to thomas if he if he lets me have a dinosaur <sighs> i'm is this a home uh, game or is this a real dinosaur? I, 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 I know what I know what he's I know what he's talking about. So it's the Guild of the Five E's. <laughs> All sources are available. There's a dinosaur mountain ever. If you're if, if you're a halfling from the plains of I forget the name of it, there's there's a dinosaur riding. There's a big one. Somebody got to just get a dinosaur. <laughs> I see how it is. How yeah. easily we uh, can be bought. How I just give you uh, real in, money? In, in, really easily. In, in, we're we're or, really a microtransaction is what that was. <laughs> yep. <laughs> in Port Thoria, that dinosaur is going to get you some looks. Okay. Oh, all right. I imagine with the shimmerings right there that that uh, people from Eberron have come through before. So the uh, just better be a well-behaved dinosaur. That's all. There's that. Like blue. Blue? Jurassic World. No one liked ah. that one. <laughs> it's been a while. Yeah. Dumb. All right. <laughs> um, let me uh, let me see what I have got going on here on the music. It looks like Sirenscape, which we are using, has restarted. Did you ask it to do that? I did not. Pretty intuitive. Um. <laughs> I did get a new non-denominational iPad uh, uh, tablet <laughs> to use for this, and it has no headphone. Jack. So that's, <laughs> that's what is uh, it? Is one of those USB C? Like yeah. Oh I'm, yeah. Because I wanted to spend another twenty five dollars on an adapter. <sighs> yeah, my my phone is like that, and I'm still irritated about it. But I either have to use these headphones on the Bluetooth setting or get a adapter. Yeah. That's All right. Get you. Thanks, Apple. It wasn't <laughs> Apple. No. I mean, Apple. Start that. Apple. I, I think Apple started it, but my phone isn't an iPhone. Samsung is now uh, started pulling them out. Samsung yeah. also has gone back to the flip phone, so they don't yeah. have any credibility anymore. I was interested in that, but I also didn't buy it when I had to get a new phone, so I guess I wasn't that interested. <laughs> Technology okay. is cyclical, man. It is. Going, we're coming back to the... Uh, well, 
and nostalgia Muskets and the uh, eight and tracks and, 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 and nostalgia is <laughs> powerful. It's not just the technology is cyclical. It's that nostalgia is very strong. Bring Nokia's back. Bring them back. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So with that, I believe that is all of the announcements. We're going to jump in tonight. This tonight's episode of Cast Agents. There's no intro, so it'll be like do 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 Pew. All right. Just imagine uh, the pirates oh, thing. Everyone <laughs> from that musical interlude. <laughs> last time you guys, uh, last time on Chaos Agents, you guys went and uh, made your way through two levels of this prison complex in Meiji, which is guarded by these constructs, these golems that require no sustenance other than the small oils or repairs from the small duo drones. You entered level two, which was the trap lair and triggered a number of traps while escaping the living statues and eventually fighting the iron golem. I think I triggered all of those and didn't take any damage. <laughs> Oops. You pulled it. You pulled a reverse ruckus. <laughs> Rook is, the ul- it's the ultimate payback, and I can't even be mad. <laughs> nice. nice. There it is. I like to think that's Just been there every sword. episode, and only now <laughs> Just you pull that out. Right here. <laughs> We're in the end game now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we came up with that. Roll credits. <laughs> All right, so you have just finished. Uh, hold on. Uh, this is this is uh, this is a lot here. I might have to write this down. Yeah. Uh oh. Are you uh, right? So Duke Lee is awarding you guys some cards. Yay. Let's see. Two X one more time. What? Thank you, Your Grace. Yeah. Thank you so much. And 2x regeneration. Damn. We can heal like pretty fast, right? Yeah. And 2x critical hit. Hey. Each of those now we have three of. We might have a chance now. Thank you, Duke Flea. Thank you so much. (laughs) Thank you, Uh, Grace. And and those are going to carry over into next session which is going to be a bit different than this one. And that means that means nothing if we don't know what the session is. Yeah. Good call. <laughs> so well, we know it's we should... not going to be a shopping episode. <laughs> if, if you can find a vendor down here in the dungeon, I will be impressed. Level three is a mall. I mean, it is. <laughs> this Any... is the true horror. The This is the mall. vendor that you find. He's like, if you could find a better price, I'll match it. It's like, you're the only one here, man. Used good. (laughs) Just the ones. (laughs) So uh, you guys have just uh, finished that. You have discovered a hole in the ground. uh, Basically, part of the floor is caved away. And down into the darkness is a natural-ish cavern. Um, Who all look down? Just Tiana, right? We were all um, resting. Because I, I don't get anything from a, a short rest, so I was not scouting, but looking. And then uh, you were being held up by Ruckus with his ropes? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So you look down. Uh, you you definitely see the sides of, of this natural cavern going down, but you do not see the ground. It's here 60 feet of dark vision. Ooh. OK. However, uh, and you hear um, some wind dripping. It's, it's definitely a different area than, than what you're in now. All right. Oh, boy. <laughs> 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 uh, to take a short rest, uh, now would be the time. Yes. I am resting. Do take that rest, my man. You know, what no, I while we're oh. resting here, if we could just take one more hour, I could actually get my my um, Winthorpe back. 
let I'm us sorry, figure Thomas, something? out um, what we need. I, we are here. What the road that lies in front of us is not going anywhere. Very accurate. Yeah. Like to be as prepared as possible. Also, question to the DM: uh, When we came to the house uh, on the entry level, that was like early AM. No, it was late, late night. Late night, like two AM. <laughs> yeah. How long uh, have we been three. in the dungeon? Probably an hour max. An hour max. Max, yeah. I mean, you've damn you've that all happened around. in a fucking hour. That's an action-packed hour. Okay. Um, yeah, man, those fights are like less than thirty seconds. Yeah. In game time. Let's see. So, uh, you guys uh, are able to get through a short rest without anything happening uh, to you. With, with really at this point, the only sounds coming out is the sometimes there's a, a gust of wind that kind of howls and moans a little bit, some dripping from the hole. Um, while they're all doing math over here for, for hit dice. <laughs> um, Thinking very hard. <laughs> very, very hard indeed. Um, I can't see the bottom of that hole. Remy, would you mind having a look? You can see a bit further in the dark than I can. I did. I feel like she just set him up for a joke. I suppose I could, if it doesn't interrupt my rest. <laughs> Go over. If no. we don't mind, I would prefer we refrain from joking because such things almost cost the party dearly before our rest. This is, I understand the need for light moments, but we need to be on the job the entire time we are down here. I hope. I feel like I'm always on the job, really, but very well. On the job. Not on the John. <laughs> okay. Ha, ha, ha. See, I am still capable of humor. <laughs> I'm an attempt. I'm getting as, very as, confused signals at this point from you. As, as, as capable of over. humor <laughs> as you ever are, certainly. I look down. See, uh, 120 right. feet. Uh, about 90 feet down, you see the bottom of this natural cavern uh, covered. You see some of the rocks that have fallen from, from the floor area here. Um, it is completely natural. Un it is not man-made. You see, it doesn't look. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. Just dripping, you know, dripping along the walls. It is definitely there's a lot of moisture in here. Down at the very bottom, you do see, um, not really a stream, but there's a little bit of water down there. Not covering the entire floor, but you can see that there is water. Okay. I'll come back um, and say it's about 90 feet down to the bottom. Uh, it doesn't look like it's been touched by by man. It's, it's all natural down there, if you know what I mean. There right, Uzo? Right, Uzo? <laughs> I have an idea. Would it be beneficial to us to endow ruckuses, light flamberge, chuck it down the hole and see what as it reveals, or is that a concern to, get to lose it? Some, are you trying to get at something's attention? Because I can see perfectly from here. Oh, um, then no, if, if is the only thing the, the descent into the hole, no, I don't know, creatures, anything, what were you able to make out? Uh, I guess Uzo walks over and like, Appears in with uh, Eldritch Sight, detect magic. Uh, what are you using for light as a human who has no dark vision? Um, their sound, where they are navigating and echoing through the walls, uh, because being in darkness is not unfamiliar with Uzo. Oh, uh, make yes. me a dexterity check. You're walking over blind. I'm not going to pass them. That's not my. Uh, I'm so, not going to be like, oh, guys, what are you looking at? Ah, so, like, so Uzo basically goes, oh, hey, guys, what are you looking at? Uh, and you guys 
are able to stop him before he plunges into the yeah. dark, the even more darkness below. So um, hold on, blind man. <laughs> Easy there. And, and just just like shaking her head, I'll I'll I'll, I'll reach over, pick up a, a rock, and cast light on it. Thank you, um, guys. Like I can hear the reflection, like echo sonograph, sort of bouncing around. Here's a deep spot where there seems to be an absence of echoed sound. I don't know. He was blind. He should be able to do that. <laughs> but the result, all right. Yeah, I mean, this is unfamiliar territory, for sure. Right, for sure. Um, do you do you want us to toss that down there so that I, I don't I can't imagine why Rem can see just fine. Okay. I can't I can't see that far down, but I I, I follow and you. Just, and what just if it take... activates a trap? <laughs> when we're ready to engage, then maybe after we're done resting. Yes, yes. I agree. Right. And did you want to take that extra hour to get Winthorpe back? Yes, that would be great, actually, if we could. Yes? You guys in favorite. agreement? Great, great. Uh, unseen servant snaps into uh, existence. I'll be in my hat. And I go like this, and you start to feel, uh, I see Remy kind of going, yes, a little lower. Thank you, Winston. And this is this is during the short rest. Yeah, yeah, right before the short rest starts. All right, so you yeah, so you get <laughs> You get a short rest and a short rest and any fat, any back or feet rubs that you want, and uh, nothing happens except okay. we're mildly uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> I've, 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 wandered, I've wandered a little ways away, not like super far, but just like I don't need to, I don't need to hang out here. Can't stop looking. Uzo <laughs> sort of s sits up where he was. Um, opens his eyes but still encased in darkness and he kind of taps his spear slightly on the ground to create some noise reverberation just get a rough idea where everybody and where everything is uh, unless is that is a special ability on your character sheet uh, it's starting to get a little bit fancy okay okay uh, yeah, I'm just uh, I in this scenario, I'd imagine Uzo going back to life lessons learned. Um, as did a did you spend a lot of time in underground tunnels? Um, in the sewers of Waterdeep. Yes, familiar with sort of damp entryways and uh, sewer stuff. Yeah, um, when we were chasing out the were rats. He left the gold pouch in the sewer for the other orphans that he knew would soon be coming through there because that's what they do. So, all right, there is. A... So the, another hour passes. Uh, Remy, you ritually cast find familiar. Stick my hand through the scream flame that's coming up out of this uh, brazier, and uh, pull out Winthorpe once more. There we are, buddy. I'm so sorry about that. And I, I think this is the first time that we've actually seen you cast that, right? Because usually, oh, no, 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 I did it your... in front of you guys the first time. Did you? We did the I... whole ritual in in my room? Okay. Mm, I wasn't paying attention. That never, okay. that never, that never stops being being a little a little bit odd watching you reach into the fire. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, yes, I suppose. But uh, I mean, it's cool, but just... you know. Happy to have this little guy back. I'm gonna, isn't, we're gonna protect you. Isn't the little guy technically immortal though? I don't know. Wasn't the uh, axe speak? He should have been. I'm gonna go. I, I should talk to the shopkeep. I'm gonna return it. <laughs> gonna return it's, it. It's a damaged, damaged product. <laughs> is that here. right? <laughs> I was you like, maybe look, they won't notice. I tried notice. to pull out. <laughs> I tried to pull out the axe beak and it wouldn't come out. <laughs> and also, it's you would. I would like a, little, a refund, please. You were a little bit Irish there, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> I think now I'm in it now. <laughs> We've got Irish ruckus tonight. Nope, lost it. <laughs> cool. All right. So, if everyone is rested, do we want to tie two lengths of rope together to get down there without hurting ourselves? I could carry someone down. 
Can you? Because it's, an, an, it, it's an open floor. Give me an intelligence check, Ruckus. It's what I think he has the highest of the group. I know. I always want to make a <laughs> joke do. about it, and then I remember that his intelligence is actually quite high. And I was about and you to can, roll wisdom. You, and you can roll a die, too. You don't have to use any of this. That would be great, but I don't well, want to match. Too bad. Um, yeah, you can totally carry somebody down there. Yeah, I can do it. Just look. Just I just eye it real quick. <laughs> Who wants to be on my back? I trust not the you. I think that's for me. Yes. Okay. You see these? And we've we've trained for this ruckus, and I jump on his back. It is our climax. Do not spin that phrase. There is no way that, 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 that <laughs> there is absolutely no way that, that needs to be spinned. It's already spun. Ruckus, we, we maybe you make multiple trips for us. I'm perfectly fine with that. I feel like I've been skipping out on my workouts. So I'll be back without a Remy. 90 degrees, and I'm just going to go <laughs> straight. <laughs> All right. Uh, so you head over here, and your slippers just get wet, and <laughs> you are falling. <laughs> with Remy, yep. though, right? How, OK, so with real Remy, quick question. Uh, I will get How far over was he? <laughs> <laughs> and that happened. Do I still have a chance to grab yes. the side? Uh, Remy, you have a chance to leap off of his back <laughs> and grab the edge of it. Oh my god, you're going to Mario off of his back like <laughs> Mario off Yoshi. You're going to Yoshi me? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Tuma dexterity save will do. Yep. Oh, died. <laughs> 21. Oh my god. All right. Uh, 21, you managed to leap off of his back um, and actually land on the uh, solid stone. You're not like hanging or anything. Would uh, is, is, it a, just fell. is it a t well, well, is it a tunnel <laughs> like it's, down or is it just the a hole that widens out into a massive cavern? Do I have a reaction quick enough to jam my flambers into the wall and hopefully st like keep catching myself will, is that it's too gonna be, i'm pretty it's strong gonna high, it's gonna be a high dc but you do have a a chance to dexterity save. okay oh it's a dex save yeah uh okay hey, at, saving mm, throw mm, hold on at disadvantage because you failed your intelligence check to I didn't, wait yeah I didn't. he did <laughs> oh 13 but, well oh. was a fail on the intelligence check to realize mm. that it is wet and your slippers don't work when it's wet. Ah. Oh, okay. So disadvantage now. Uh, saving throw or just regular? Saving throw. What is it? I'm not looking. Okay. It's 12 and 15. Uh, inspire that. Yeah, I wouldn't be high enough. Team. Uh, or catch yeah. me. Someone cool. can react and catch me or inspo. Yeah. Would it be a plus five? Well, it'd be plus, plus, plus a D6. This D6, I'm sorry. But it'd be a, a plus D6 to that 12. So, sure, but you know what? Sure. Don't fail me now, blue dice. <laughs> yeah, you gotta stop rolling that thing, man. <laughs> it's almost as bad as roll 20. I, I think it's gonna revenge on you for making it knock over all your stuff back there. And he damaged Sonic. <laughs> no. You have no uh, one to blame but yourself, my friend. He'll, he'll run it off. It'll be fine. I'm going to return that dice. <laughs> Ruckus, you are plummeting. Okay. Is he screaming or is he just like plummeting free falling? <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. He, he is screaming. I mean, 95. <laughs> and, it, and it echoes all over the place. You're, you get a, a vivid sense of the room. With the duck kick. Can I I grab um I grab Uzo and I say, Cast fly. Don't ask do oh, it. You, How long does it take to fall that the ninety feet? <laughs> He's falling faster than you can probably reach him. Well, um it's like no time to discuss it, but uh, okay. I was going to click my boots of speed, which double my movement. So I was going to see if I could get there before he does. This counts you, as pause time. <laughs> you have, okay, there's. Would that. Dude, th th there wouldn't be enough time. You fall 500 feet in six seconds in D&D. &D. Is that right? Yeah, I just, yeah. You fall, you right. fall five, 500 feet per round. 
Never mind. <laughs> but did we hear a splash? Do I have a do I have time to throw an animal as a last resort? <laughs> <laughs> cushion the fall. Or unless I pull uh the elk out and I kill myself on it. You don't have you don't have any uh, any spells, any anything? Okay. Uh for spells. I can I absorb the elements on the ground? Can I use burning hands to slow my fall, like jet propulsion? Can I right. use shield to n not get hurt? What about jump? <laughs> I do have jump, but I feel like, oh, if I time it, well, can I you jump off the get wall? rid of the momentum like before I land so mm -hmm. I slide across the floor? You know what I mean? If I, if Unless I'm it is close a reaction. Wall, oh, true. Um, I have, wait, you, uh, unless it's my reaction? Jump, jump is an action. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, after you, you, for the first time, you're like, this ma these magic boots suck. Uh, and you, you plow into the ground, 90 feet down. <gasps> How is much do I hurt? It's a, it's a D6 per, per 10 feet? Or yeah. is it two yeah. D6? One D6? One D6 per 10 feet. Ruckus? <laughs> I, I, I short rested well enough. So Uzo uses his spear to sort of tap where the edge of the hole is. He kneels down to the edge of the hole and he's sort of listening. Is Ruckus floating, flailing, or is it like a stream? And you, uh, well, you hear water and debris fly out as 34 points of damage you take. I can take it. And... <gasps> Uh, and uh, Remy, you, you kind of turn around and look down mm -hmm. and you see him on, uh, in you actually turn around just in time to see the the splash of mud and, and water head out. That wasn't pretty. Are you alright, buddy? I don't feel pretty. <laughs> uh, but I also have a concussion. <laughs> well, while you're down there, you should illuminate it. Let us know what you see yes, once you I gather am alive. yourself. You're right. We shouldn't worry about internal bleeding light. <laughs> give, him a, give, him a, give him a moment to recollect his senses. My goodness. The flame so does passively light, though. <laughs> <laughs> Passive aggressively of, light? Yeah. <laughs> an area of blue light illuminates around your body as you slowly roll over onto your back and look up into the darkness beyond. Very winded. Very winded. Should we try the rope this time? I think yeah. a rope would be an excellent idea. So inside Wait. this room, you, you do see a place where you can uh, tie off a rope that is a stone column uh, and looks sturdy enough to hold. All right. So we'll Who's... need to tie two ropes together, I think. I'll um, Just fly. take care of it. What are they, 50 feet of rope? Yeah. I actually happen to know the knot to do this, so it maintains uh, as m much of the integrity of the rope as possible. I so mean, I tie them I, together. I mean, uh, I, mean, Uzo, I mean, you were a sailor. I'd be amazed if you didn't know your knots. Uzo yeah. yells down, did you know there was water down there? Yes. No. <laughs> what do you mean, ruckus? <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to calculate how lucky this man is for the millionth time we've got and spent time with him. I didn't know shit until I felt it. <laughs> but there's, but there's shit Remy down there? <laughs> is tying the knots and Tied doing up. that stuff, Uzo goes, do you know how I used to test depth and height um, back in Waterdeep? And he kind of leans over the edge and lets a glob of saliva fall out of his mouth into the hole, and he sort of waits to listen to when it splashes. About 120 I feet, I would say. Just about. I mean, I have it on very good authority that it's 90, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> not an exact science, <laughs> but and close it, enough to know not to jump. And also disgusting. <laughs> Do I get hit with a spit? I gotta know. <laughs> who's who's gonna, uh, going to go first? Andraste, uh, I think it should be you to go see. Yeah. Who? Sorry. So, as, as you guys are going down there, who's going to make me an attack? For an attack spit. roll. 1d20? Yeah. 
<laughs> for your spit. I'm going yeah. to wait until after this is resolved before I get anywhere near that hole. <laughs> Eight. It was non mucus. It was it was yeah. pure saliva. So no like caught on your lip a little. It's, it's also <laughs> hard to tell. Uh, uh, actually, uh, Ruckus, you do hear a very small splash off to your uh, right. <laughs> can I say I'm smart enough to put that put two and two together this time? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You can hear you can hear up there. I mean, it is any sound in here echoes uh, quite a bit. You try and spit on me? No. All right, Andraste, um, let me go down first. And if I can't, or someone loses their grip, I can catch us with a fly. All right, if you're sure. No, but it's the best plan I have. All right. Captain. Okay, let's just go. Uzo starts to slowly make his way down, puts the spear After away. I tie him in. <laughs> After he ties me in. <laughs> All right. So, I mean, basically, you are hanging off. So this is going to be an athletic strike to get down. All right. Oh, dishy, Jesus. Dishy. Awesome. All right. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Would I get an uh, D6, I guess? I don't think that's going to be high enough. If I get a 10, I don't know. We, do we have enough to full reroll it? Well, we don't do that anymore. Oh, right. Is it uh, worth announcements. not doing? What do you guys think? I don't think that even if you maxed it out, that 11 <clears throat> would save you. Can you yeah. announce it? Or no, no, I don't know. I'm okay. Let's figure out what's going on. Um, so, so, yeah, yeah. So, so you start going down and, and it's, it's a lot slipperier, slipperier than you imagined and you fall. Uh, Uzo reactively as intended casts fly and slowly sort of floats back up. He catches himself down and then he floats back up and he takes, uh, reaches out his hand, um, while I have this going. Would I need yep. to cast an additional fly or would that? So, so what happened there is you said you, you essentially readied an action to cast fly should you fall. Yes. Um, and you started to fall, fly went off. Um, it is up for 10 minutes as long as you are concentrating. Um, and that would include adding additional person, a willing creature I touch. To it. Uh, okay. Well, or or, no. or you can just carry one of us with your carry capacity. Yeah, you yeah, you you can carry Andraste and Remy down without a problem. One at a time. Okay. I will do that then. All right. So you basically you fly down holding. Are, are you are you like carrying me like this in your arms? <laughs> I if you come close to me, I push you, I stiff arm your face back first and I Go to get on Draste. <laughs> All right, fine. I All get right, that. Uh, Remy. We, we we may need the rope further on. If we, if you would untie the the knots, we can we can bring the ropes with us. Good thing I tied them so well. <laughs> uh, Very well. I appreciate you. Thank you. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> so Uzo, yeah, you you float down with Andraste into this massive cavern. The the blue glow at the coming from the flamberge illuminates. Uh, 30 feet out with dark vision. Remy, you up top with your now alone by yourself untying this rope. Nothing happens. <laughs> uh, you untie the Better rope. Not. <laughs> Uzo flies back up. Gets you guys. Come. You yeah. Cradle him. How, how, how much extra dark vision does the, the sword give to people who have dark vision? I don't remember. I think it was 20 additional uh, for those who already have dark vision. Glambush on the night. I get an Uzo's arm. Aww. Both of them, actually, his arms. <laughs> Uzo does a straight line. He's not, you know. But you don't want to yet. savor this? Come on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's the hurry? So, Uzo yeah. drops him in the water and uh, stays maybe five feet above the water while the fly still is cast. Yeah. 
So uh, the Flamberge grants 30 feet of dark vision to those without it and extends dark vision by 20 feet. Okay, so I can now see 80, 80 feet around me uh, yes, with the, with the Flamberge lit. And Remy can, even with his Eldritch Sight, it is enhancing you. It's not dark vision. Nope. You're not enhanced. Sorry. <laughs> Remy is not enhanced. Oh, oh. no. Oh no, he can still see further than me. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so you guys now find yourself in this open uh, cavern. You do see uh, stalactites uh, up above, you know, holding tight uh, stalactites. Yes, that's, that's how I remember. <laughs> it is. There, you are in basically a, uh, a, a circular chamber, and there is one path to go. All right. Um, when I am landed next to uh, Ruckus, I, like crouch down next to him. Is he still on the ground? Just out of curiosity. Yeah. Yeah. I I, I believe it. I believe I it. I need to do it. <laughs> I'm sure that sucked. Uh, and I'm going to cast Cure Wounds on him on thir at third level. All right. So you reach down and shove the spleen back in where it goes. <laughs> just, just like looked at him shaking my head and be like, are you all right? I think it ruptured. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you probably don't need that thing anyway, right? Hopefully it's just a useless organ, but uh, uh, I will not. It'd be rude to turn down that uh, healing thing. <laughs> I, I walk over and I, I say, I have a potion I could Lend him. Save your strength, Andraste, please. Are you sure? Absolutely, and I give him my greater healing potion. All right, well then take off that 14 again. I didn't add it. <laughs> and that's uh, what? 44 plus four? Yeah. You know you've been playing this game too long when you can just rattle that off. <laughs> <laughs> it's 13. Okay. I'm happy with it. All right. Before I drink so... it, I go, wait, did you laugh at me when I fell? I don't think there was time. I'm not happy with that answer. <laughs> but we'll get back to that. The answer is still no. <laughs> <laughs> the answer is still no. it sounds like enough. you wanted to. I'm glad you're all, all right. right. So, looking ahead of you, um, you see this this chamber that goes up. Um, Remy, from from the underside, you actually see where um, where there is stone, that stone floor up above that kind of came down, um, and the rest is a natural cavern underneath, um, and the dome closes off down this tunnel. It is a uh, it's, it's tall and narrow. It's not man-made tunnel or anything, but it is a crevice that is five feet wide and leads off a small um, stream, very small stream, runs all along it as well. I'm going to keep uh, Winthorpe close to me on my person, and I'm going to... Um turn to the rest and say, well, it looks like there's only one way to go. It certainly um, is that way. How wide is it? This corridor? It's five feet at max. Right. It kind of it comes like in and out. Um, it is you know, a naturally occurring cavern. Looks like it's one at a time. All right. What's our mushroom? What is our marching order then? I, can I think I go you. first so I that I can stay ahead a little bit. And you can, you can uh, see the furthest, it makes sense. Yes, Andraste behind me, who can also see far and has a very good eye. So look for traps. We know that they are about. And right. um, <clears throat> probably Ruckus at the rear then. Watching your yeah. back, though. Fine. So as you are about to head down into this tunnel, we want to welcome some raiders. Uh, Master of Rem. That's interesting. Uh, we welcome. Have Hello, uh, welcome. We are going to do a giveaway. Um, 
courtesy of I don't know, but we're gonna do a giveaway for a Beholder mini set here. Mm. Uh, so if you want to enter this, enter hashtag chaos into the chat, and we will draw it in uh, a little bit. Must be present win. So stick around. We're about to uh, get into some fun Dungeons and Dragons. Pretty that thing is. Yes. Yeah, Those minis are a sight to behold. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> is the lowest hanging fruit. I like it. <laughs> so you start making your way through this tunnel um, complex. Um, give. Uh, are you stealthing or just kind of moving? I'm going to stealth, yeah, for sure. So you're going to stealth, kind of move slowly. Um, yeah. You are watching uh, the drier portions, if you will, of this tunnel floor. It is hard rock. So go ahead and make me a stealth check. Put up. I know we're coming. All right, you, uh, with a 29. With a 29, you are silent. In fact, um, the rest of you, for a moment, think maybe Remy fell into another hole. But you hear a small footstep because you're actively listening. And you make your way through winding tunnels over tunnels back you come to a basically a, a u-turn and you come back the other way um you travel for about 20 minutes before uh, you see up ahead with your uh, with your eldritch sight that it's opening up into a larger cavern you encounter no soul, no construct, um, no wildlife, just cold air and water and stuff. Any evidence that uh, this place has been disturbed recently? Uh, give me a survival check. That's not good. <laughs> All righty. Oh, plus zero. OK, there we go. I mean, it is wisdom based. Nine. Nine. Uh, it it's hard to tell. Um, there, there. You see no footprints. You see, um, you see. If anyone was through here, it's been washed away. Hmm. I don't see any signs. Of anyone coming down this way. And um, the cavern is now opening. What do I see in this? Uh, so you were, you're still roughly a hundred feet from the from that opening up. You just saw it ahead of time. As you get closer, you actually start to see a glow, a color shifting glow. Actually. Hold on. Totally forgot about this. <laughs> hey. Damn, that's a nice glow. Oh my a God. Shifting glow um, that <laughs> just pulses these different colors um, coming from this chamber. As you continue to move closer, it gets brighter and brighter. And you start to feel sort of that crackling of magical energy. Um, and by this point, uh, the rest of you see this as well up ahead. You see a silhouetted little Remy beyond him, this color shifting light. What kind of magic is it with the tech magic? Uh, it is abjuration magic. Abjuration magic. And I share that with the group as we approach. What kind of magic is that? Because I have silent servant magic and and <laughs> that's about it. And teleporting magic. <laughs> uh, stupid Remy, you don't you don't know what ab abjugation magic is? <laughs> it is some sort Come of on, protective man. magical barrier. Yes, ab abjuration is similar to, to your shield. Did you say abdication? What did, what did you say? Oh my god. <laughs> as, you, as you move Remy into this, um, into this chamber, you see that it is massive, 120 feet um, side to side. You, with your eldritch sight, are just able to see the other um, you don't see the other side, but you see that it is that wide sort of in the center. And along the middle of it is this just massive wall of shimmering light. It 
does in fact look similar to the shimmering that you went through, um, but different enough where you know it's not the same magic. Uh, and this is the rest familiar, of you, but somehow different. <laughs> and the rest of you um, come up behind and everybody make me perception checks. Uh, are we, this is an active check? Right, yes. for perception. So could I throw it through Winthorpe? Pretty if, funny. If you want to. Yeah, I want to get a good look at this thing. So you, so, so Winthorpe kind of flies up and you. No, 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 no. Winthorpe's oh. right here and I'm just going <laughs> to into Winthorpe. <laughs> right. So everything Winthorpe can hear and see is pretty much from my same perspective. Gotcha. All right, so. Let me do the perception here. You know, you guys can use dice. I know, but I don't want Warren to accuse me of cheating. <laughs> we are honest to a fault. You know what? <laughs> R Ruckus, what did you get? Eight. Eight. Nice. Yeah. nice. See, now you know. Damn. It wasn't good. Yeah. 23 on my perception check. So that 20, though, right? That, yep. Yeah. Does that yield any? No, we don't get anything for that anymore. No, no crits. Ah, it's like you're playing regular D and D. Like, <laughs> that's right. weird. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Andra Andraste and Remy, uh, both sort of at the same moment uh, behind this barrier, you see a massive shadow kind of come and just pass over like this, and then you see. Like in whatever is on the other side, just tapped, and it and the rest um, of you hear that and see that sort of reaction. What um, was that? That was a massive shadow. Could this be your dragon? Is did this you what see we behind a barrier? The silhouette what? of the shadow. We had. Did, did we? It did looked we like a giant, looked like a giant serpent. It didn't look like a, a dragon. It looked like a snake. Does Uzo, this room this look familiar? Familiar to you. In fact, as you start to say that, you look down towards the ground, you know, because you were all looking up at this really impressive magical barrier. You, Uzo looks down and you see the four pillars, four stone pillars that you have seen before in a vision. The spaced... Uh, it's hard to tell exactly, but maybe 11 or 12 feet apart at the front of this. Uzo kind of spreads out his arms and it's kind of like shocked and defensive posture. I've seen this place before in my dreams. This feels like, seems like it is, it is the gate. I'm almost certain of it. And I guess... And he points out the pillars. We might be needing this, and I pull and draw Kumara from the sheath and kind of point it out and see if there's any reaction. Uh, you, get, you get a sense in your head. Yes, yes. Yes, this is right. This is... Do I remember? Or was it a vision? I don't, I don't know. I feel different. Remy, Can, something's wrong. I'm, something's I feel different. wrong. Are you able to contact uh, Denda? I give him a, a psychic wink. And Remy, and, what are you doing? Are you winking at your sword? <laughs> no. He's talking in his head. No, whatever. Whatever this barrier is, it is blocking. I can't communicate. Yeah, something's Wait. wrong. What's what's wrong? Good wrong yeah. or something bad wrong. Kumara cannot communicate with whatever's in there and senses something is wrong. I is there think... anything different, Uzo? No, but we have a friend who might be able to offer us some true sight. And he slithered, Bugas slithers out of his neck. And uh, is it okay to use our last guiding light on this call? 
guys? What do you think? The card. Well, the guide didn't Wait, let us. To, the guide let us to show us where to go, isn't it? Yeah. You ask for guiding light from the gods. For a brief moment, you see a faint glow in the direction of your stated goal, and it, and you sense an estimate of how far away it is. What is your stated goal? My goal is to find Bahamut and release Bahamut. All right. Uh, is it okay to use that? As so I, I pull I think... out Baga to ask him one more time to make sure we are on the right path. But before that happens, I'm sorry, Remy. Uh, no, no. I was just going to say, should we look for Bahamut or wherever this keyhole is that I am meant to place Kumara to release Bahamut? I want to be... I want to be sure. Fair. All right, let's let's do it then. And right. he, Baga, I guess, yeah, comes into his hand yeah. and is standing Baga in front of this thing. Actually, comes up and you see a slight glow and travels down your arm onto the ground, slithers over to the second from the right pillar and sort of circles it on the bottom before moving off and disappearing. Well, Did I track where I got one? Did you just lose your snake? Uh, uh, this... You can, you can uh, if you would like to stay where you are at, and make perception checks, you can, or you yes. can go and investigate. Um, Uzo is going to follow and yeah. investigate. Okay. Get a little right. closer as well. Okay. I, so as... I'm, I'm going to do perception check. I'm better at that than investigation. Um, yeah, I'll perceive. Jesus. Okay. Hey. Makes sense. I, I rolled it eight. Uzo is just more trained on where Baga went than actually yeah. investigating. I just okay. lost a snake. We can't get another one. <laughs> Sorry, give me a moment. I just want to... No since, since, since we're here, I might as well. So as um, Baga slithers down his hand and goes away, he enshrines the pillar and Uzo looks over to Remy and kind of smiles as if knowing like I guess we're in the right place um, but then watches Baga go off and disappear and uh, the blood drains from Uzo's face as he starts to speed walk over to that pillar in that direction and then investigate right. with a I'm going up behind Yeah. Uh, you don't need the map I'm just putting it up for flavor Ooh. so you guys move you guys make your way over towards the pillar. Um, Andraste, you notice uh, there's, and uh, Ruckus, you notice this too, there's, there's a small hole at the bottom of this magical barrier right behind the pillar that Baga went to, very small. You know, the guy had to squeeze, squeeze. Mm -hmm. I'll I'll squint at that and then look over at Ruckus. Do you see that? Yeah. Oh, it's gonna be hard to get him back though. Uzo, I assume, doesn't see it, and he's still kind of in yeah. there. So, and, and, yeah. and, and that's what Baga disappeared into. But as as you get over to the over to that that pillar that you went to, you you sense these three other pillars, and right at the top, carved is um uh it is the I'm trying to think what exactly it is um it is a small rock carved on the top at first you think it might actually just be a rock on it um and uh, Rondraste and Ruckus, you suddenly look over um, to the right. You see um, God, 
why am I blanking? I'm totally blanking. Um, we see. All the way on the left, you see water. Mm -hmm. Then you see flames carved in the top. I mean, it is it is stone, but it is definitely carved flames. Um, on the right, you see not a cloud, but almost what appears to be the wind. The elements, this is what we were, we were told that the, the four elements had to come together in order to do this. I'm gonna, and I'll, I'll come down to, to that pillar and just put a hand on Uzo's shoulder and then point at the little hole where we saw Baga slither through. Where does that hole go? I think it goes inside of the barrier. Please. He's inside. I think it he's... He's, he did what he had come to do. He and at this point, why did he circle this pillar? Is that the one with the rock on top? It is the one with the rock on top. And at this point, you, the whole like sort of room dims as this massive form. You can see kind of coming up and it is 60 feet above you. This, this serpent must be 20 feet in diameter. It is enormous. And it's just kind of and boom. boom. Oh, so it's looking at us? That doesn't right actually now. help us think, you know. <laughs> uh, you, it is so opaque, you can only see that there is something there. Uzo looks at that and kind of um, leans on the pillar, put his hand on it. Does it get any reaction? You do get a reaction. Um, is anyone standing next to him? I am. I, I have my hand on his, show, on his arm. All right. I need both of you to make... Let me... Hold on. I need to look up the, the thing. Crud. Be good saves. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on deck. If it were a snake, am I right? <laughs> oh, we have fun here. Oh, no. <laughs> Constitution saving thrust. Constitution. Oh, Jesus. On. Seventeen. Okay. Nine. <clears throat> Shit. I'm switching over to my real dice. I'm... <laughs> Uh, each of you, uh, if you if you failed the con save, you take fourteen points of damage and are thrown uh, ten feet back away from the barrier. Uh, if you save, you take seven points of damage. Yeah, I get I get flung back. <laughs> so I assume like, 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 like ragdoll. Yeah, you you save and you your your hand is still on it, um, but you are like <laughs> this this wave of. Earth and ener energy just almost knocks you to the ground and you take seven points of damage. Um, you let go at that point. And he looks over to Andraste and he kind of jogs to her and offers a hand to help her up. And you and you hear boom, boom. <laughs> Uzo turns now, having lost Baga, helped and draw stay up and hearing this noise, um, angry and yell, what do you want us to do? What else is there to do? Kind of snarling in the distance, yelling. No, it just echoes. There's, yeah, no response. Uh, there's, um, you 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 get no response for a second and just as you're about to look away you hear this and suddenly see this horizontal tube smack against a wall and just 
and the, the loudest of those that you have heard. Uh, and then a, a massive thud on the ground. Is there any reaction out of Kumara when that happens? Um, yeah. Uh, yes, uh, Kumar. So Kumara is kind of freaking out in mind. He's like, mm-hmm. "This is, this is. There's something. There's something. I, I forget. There's something. It's, it's, it's. This is why I failed. This is why I couldn't. I was alone. I couldn't do it. What do we have to do, Kumara? I don't know. If Uzo, Uzo looks back to the group, but then looks back at the structure, which he assumed is a creature, and tries to think and speak. Awaken mind. What would you have us do? You you get it. What's the range on that? 30 feet. All right. So you get... you. It's not by it's you get some you are not expecting and clearly um, the other entity was also not expecting this to work. And you just you get more visions than anything, uh, much like your dreams uh, in the past. Uh, it is connection, completion together. And is it- you, you feel the whoosh, this barrier block the rest. Uzo puts his hand up and does the awakened mind, and as those images come out, he says them out loud, trying to make sense of them, connection, completion, together. And he drops the awakened mind, and he turns to the group. Does that uh, mean t- anything to you? How tall are the pillars? Uh, the pillars are uh, three feet tall. They're about I- 11 feet apart. Yeah, roughly. I go to the one marked water, and I, I say, well, if it's together, then perhaps we are meant to stand together. These pillars look short enough for us to stand on. I look at the one that says water. It, I, I just want to give it a try. Wait, 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 wait. Before he goes, you know, having that reaction, don't touch it yet. If Should it, we it, all touch it together? If it's togetherness, I think it has to be all of us touch our pillar at the same time. I'm fire. I can almost guarantee that. So and I'll go and st- I don't I'll, see it, actually. And then I just, I just look at him, pull, hold up a rock, cast light briefly, let it down again, <laughs> stick, stick the rock in my pocket, and go stand in front of the, go stand in front of the fire pillar, smiling, not, not, not annoyed, more amused than anything. <laughs> Uzo walks to his and uh, I guess kind of nods to Ruckus like, I guess you're the last one. I'm the wind guy. Yeah, you know what? You need wind to have your family burn alive. I, yep. I think okay. that that's probably somewhere in science. I'm going to stand on this pillar. No, don't <laughs> touch it yet. We will count together. I'm standing adjacent to this pillar. Are we ready? Touching it, we need to be very clear about this. Are we standing on it? Are we touching it? First, and is it on three, or do we say one, two, three, go? We want to be that's important. (laughs) This is important. One, two, three. By the time three is said, we want to be touching touching it on three. Got it. We go on three, and 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 we slap it. I mean, I at least climbing up on something that's three feet tall without touching it is going to be very difficult. So, I think just touching it to start. I agree. On three. You, you say it, Uzo. Looks around, deep breath. One, two, and then three, and he reaches out and touches the pillar, assuming everyone does it at the same time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All four of you reach out and touch these pillars at the exact same moment. And four elements explode from e- from them one out of each of them as this was not the correct answer Uh-oh. Um, we will start with air as a tornado <laughs> encircles this uh, please make me a constitution saving throw 
ruckus. I think this work. I think it's working. Something's happening. Oh shit. I feel fear. <laughs> Is this what pain feels like? <laughs> This is gonna hurt. Is it just spinning? I think I did well. Oh, am I in the wrong? You have to say it. Oh, okay. You oh, so bad. you totally make it. Uh, uh, you are not flung off, but you immediately release your hand from it. You take uh, because it's halved. You take twelve points of damage. Uzo again. This thunderous wave shoots over you. Make me a Constitution saving throw. Oh, jeez. Boom. Roll the fucking dice. Come on. Ooh, it does not make it. 13 points of damage, and you are thrown 10 feet back. Damn. Andraste. A fireball. Small. Smaller than normal fireball. <laughs> um, almost, almost more, you know, more of a pillar of fire comes down. Doing twenty. Uh, Do I make? I was gonna say, Do I make a dexterity? <laughs> Dex saving throw. Uh, Twenty-four and fail. Fantastic. Twenty-one. All right. So half of that, twelve, and you let go of the pillar. And Remy, a tidal wave, smaller than normal, flows down and make me a uh, Constitution saving throw. That's dexterity, actually. I will roll dex then. Yeah. Nineteen. Eighteen. Yeah. All right. So you make it. You are not thrown to the ground, although your your hat goes flying off. <laughs> Seven <laughs> points of damage. Speaking of your hat, Tamago Tora gave 500 bits for the hats Dang. and another 500 bits for the party. Thank you, Tamago Tora. Thank, Thank you, Tamago Tora. And how much damage did you say I take? Seven. I take zero. We have a giveaway that we're going to roll pretty soon for these. this beholder. You finally hit the level where you have evasion. <laughs> um, Uzo thrown back now, uh, super angry, gets up, does push up, get up has a handful of dirt in anger. What in the hell is this? And he throws it at the pillar. What do you want us to do? So the, the dirt just bounces off the pillar. No reaction. I'm brushing off singed bits and just, ow. And Kumara okay. actually, Kumara says, C connection, connection. 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 So my next guess would be, I feel like we just attack them with each of the um, units. Get so the after the connection, uh, intelligence checks for everybody. Also known as a flat D20 for Andraste. <laughs> Dirty Holy crap, 20. I rolled a 16. Nice. Dirty oh. 20? That storm right. is going outside. Uzo's just like yeah. ranting and screaming. Yeah. And, and, and uh, you actually, insane. in your head, you keep saying the word connection, connection. Um, and you look at the distance of the pillars and the air and the earth. And you think we could together, if we, we could do this. If, like if you held Ruckus's hand, you Uzo. could reach. So Uzo in his ranting and screaming connection, then he holds his arm out and he realizes that he we could be we could be touching each other while we try. Would that what they mean by connection? I also see it, Captain. I also see it. Thank you. I am not Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. What 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 uh how though? Would would be holding hands? Holding hands and then what? Sitting on them? Walking into them? Uh, into them. I, I don't see why not. 
I mean, I he doesn't want to get face first up against that thing that created a tidal wave. Remy, Remy, <laughs> um, you looking at the spacing of these, see a small problem. You and Andraste together could not reach. Which is short. Right. So my wingspan is a bit smaller than most you may have noticed. And mine right is and, and mine is not a great deal longer. Mm. <laughs> what if you hold Kumara? Because Kumara is pretty much part of the team. You think that is a good idea? <laughs> I'm I'm it. just spitballing here. I mean, really, I expect to get hit with another tidal wave or something. Mm. I I'm not opposed to any idea. It seems foolish to come this far and not try everything at our disposal. I am confident I can survive that again. But after I, that, we would need to rethink our options. I can as well. And I do, I do have the ability to mass, to mass heal everyone if necessary. So. Okay. So, Shall we give it a go? Well, Remy, Remy, you and I are too short to hold hands. Um, should I get an animal in on this? No. <laughs> okay. What 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 if we try to try a different sort of connection where it's like lanes or stretch stretching out further because arms were, aren't aren't long enough but you know head to feet maybe. Oh. Well, I promise you my wingspan is about the same as my height. <laughs> All right. Can I you I have alter self. Can I like st- kind of stretch my arms weirdly out farther than they would? I have so this, I guys. I believe alter self. You could make yourself a foot taller. So you, if you were to use that, would have a foot more in wingspan. Okay. I'll just pour that foot all into my arms. <laughs> Makes sense in my mind. Uh, but yes, <laughs> uh, team, I'm willing to alter self in order to make this whole stretch work so that way we can really hold hands and hopefully well, not get impaled by elements again. The problem from what I'm seeing, and correct me if I'm wrong, we're trying to stay with our pillars and hold hands. Am I getting that right? Yeah, basically walk into it. Regardless, Remy and I's arms are too short. Even if you, even if you get seven foot tall. Animal. Um, <clears throat> I have the solution to this, guys. I've been holding on to it for a very long time. And I didn't know when I would need it. I don't want you guys to make a big deal out of it. But I have this potion of enlarge slash reduce. And I think I got it back when we were fighting orcs on the way to the Blighted Forest. Um, but I could actually make myself bigger with this. I will double in size in all dimensions. Wink. And Drosty's just fucking losing it. Just cackling. So you'll be average. (laughs) I will be what? Average. No. No, I will be above average. I will be a full ling. I will be gargantuan if I take this. You, you understand? Be, I will be a giant. You will truly you be. You will truly be a tall halfling. <laughs> so we are we are set to enlarge this member. Is that what we are doing? <laughs> this sounds like Shout a scene a from it. <laughs> and then some. Well, I grab get the full potion. Chub, Cappy. <laughs> Let's let's do this. Let's try it. It's worth a shot. <laughs> Is this what you're using it on? I thought he was going to use it for some giant monster fight or something. But... That was that was not where my brain was going with that. <laughs> and Remy, you suddenly feel yourself growing in size into a six foot three half. But to me, I'm seeing you know the world yeah. from a very different perspective. Yeah, you you I'm watch stomping yourself around. <laughs> Hear me, for I am the full ling. Oh, Congratulations no. I've seen a halfling on of such height. 
congrats on becoming a complete person. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're going to come back to that <laughs> later. With, In the meantime, with... look at this wingspan. Oh my god, look at it. Does his HP double as well? Uh, no, it says the target size doubles in all dimensions and its weight is multiplied by eight. Wow. <laughs> this growth increases <laughs> its size by one category from medium to large, for example. If there isn't that's enough great. room for the target. To... Huh? Wait. I said You're that's great. Wait, what? What'd you say, Aaron? Your clothes? Do those grow with Yeah, them? all of it goes yes. with me. <laughs> ah. all, all clothes and equipment grow as well, which means Kumar is now so much bigger. That's right. Mm. Uh, until the spell ends, the target also has advantage on strength checks, strength saving throws. The target's weapons also grow to match its new size. All these weapons are enlarged. The target's attacks with them deal 1d4 extra damage. Yes. You just in your mind here, oh my god, I'm huge! <laughs> <laughs> I look down, me too, Kumara, me too. <laughs> As you're Kelly. As you're Kelly just losing it. Speaking of Kelly, uh, there's 500 bits uh, for the enlarged member. Cheers. You are a menace, Kelly, and I love it. Just don't read into that too deeply, guys. Um, <laughs> it was in quotes for the the, the phrase enlarging its Indeed. member. Ah, <laughs> uh, and Tamaga Torah, because god damn it, though. <laughs> Thank you, Tamaga Torah. Fair, very fair. That's we say that a lot. Specifically, yes. god damn it, Bo. <laughs> I stand in front of, of mine looking ever so smug. Shall we? Holding my hands out. Do we have, just do we smugly nods. Like... And Bo, give me uh, an intelligence check uh, now that you are larger and looking down on these guys. Okay. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. Don't screw me. There we go. <laughs> nice. All right. So eight, 18. So you're looking down now and looking at, at your size, you you definitely think that you could, you and Andraste could touch your pillars and hold hands. Mm -hmm. Like the little sculpture that is on top of each of the pillars. Touch the sculpture? Yeah. And, so I... and you think that holding, holding hands, Andraste could touch her sculpture as well. I think it would work. Andraste, you see that sculpture on yours, and this on mine. The flame, you see yes. the ones on yours. I think we grab that. All right. Now I'll, I'll hold. I'll hold my hand out. Wait. We doing this? Wait. So, you've got one hand holding each other's hand, and then one hand Touching. about to touch the thing. Yeah. We I'm also confused. How are we connected to you in this way? We okay, so we have to kiss the statue. Uh, that was my guess. We yeah, try same. It, we try it in pairs. What? Hey, it's got to be full. I think it's all or none with this thing. No, no. I mean. Hold on. I just grew something that might help. That's <laughs> <And> not. <laughs> that's barely going to reach it. Right. Um, <laughs> my my thought is that we we handle it in pairs. So Ruckus and Uzo hold hands and touch yours, and I and Remy hold hands and we touch ours at the same time again. Hot. Okay, I think that, that works. That's a valid plan. <laughs> I'm not sure, but well, if it doesn't, then 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 I'll take the time to heal people before we try the, before we try anything else. Okay, I'm willing to gamble. You guys, uh, I think we should all do it at the same time, right? Yes, I agree. Yes. And so, so we do the, we do the count again. So he grabs Ruckus's hand. Why is your hand wet? Because of the giant pile of shit I fell in ninety feet down. Uh, I haven't really had a chance to wash that out. Just a, just a quick disclaimer as you touch me. You're and disgusting. I grip your hand. <laughs> Children. <laughs> he called me disgusting. <laughs> do not make me put my mom Droste hat on. I do, I do not have the patience for this right now. Let's go. I squeeze Uzo's hand a little. <laughs> um, Uzo starts to count. Remember, on three. Touch the symbols. One. Two. Three. And you all 
touch your respective pillars, holding hands as this, maybe some would say lightning, others would say electricity, shoots up from uh, underneath Ruckus's pillar and <laughs> through the arms to Uzo's, down into that pillar, across the floor, up the fire pillar, through Andraste and Remy, down to the ground, and then <laughs> connecting to the massive barrier in front of you as it crackles this, this energy of circles through you and through you, and you suddenly realize that you actually have electricity flowing through. And it's a little unnerving, but you stay holding on as a massive light blinds all of you momentarily from this sheen as it changes from its multicolor lights to a silver light. And and it, it the opaqueness falls away, and the, you see a massive black serpent behind it. The the stories you read in the in the library, Uzo. This is Dendar, and next to Dendar is Baga, slithering forward as the electricity fades around you, as Baga hits the barrier from the other side, but doesn't come out. Instead, six feet up, this platinum-colored head comes through as a young dragon steps through the barrier to be on your side and looks around. Father, come through. It is safe. As Dendar the Night Serpent takes a step forward. And that's where we're going to go to break. Uh, And we are going to come back um, and see what happens there. (laughs) Uh, in the meantime, we're going to roll a giveaway. So hashtag chaos in the chat. We'll roll that as soon as we are coming back from break. So hashtag chaos, yo. Oh See what God. happens. Um, the Hefner and Reoccurring Dream combining to make another inspiration. Yes. We'll be back just as long as it takes these people to use those bathrooms. A while. I'm peeing outside. <laughs> <laughs>
Hello, everyone, and welcome back, and congratulations to you will never know for the win of the Beholder. <laughs> Who won? Who won? We yeah. will never know. You will never know. That, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> no. Who's yeah. on first? <laughs> uh, so Congrats. Got, yes, congratulations. We've got another giveaway we'll do on the next raid, which is one of these guys, uh, or maybe another Beholder box. Ooh. Somebody went and bought a bunch of clearance. <laughs> that's the way to do it all right so uh you guys have just completed this puzzle of uh, defeating the barrier in front which requires a team of people all with different skills it's serendipitous i mean who would have thought that this would have been what was required it was, it was fate is what it was really? it also took too long to realize <laughs> hey, we, 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 we had a perfectly logical opening gambit. It made sense. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Um, I definitely enjoyed the amount of times you took damage from it. That <laughs> did. <laughs> and it also made me happy that you overcame it. So. Challenging, but not dead. Yes. Mostly. <laughs> Falling down was the deadliest moment tonight. I had fun. I had fun in that. Yeah. <laughs> so far. And in the a tornado. <laughs> so this young dragon, Platinum, steps through, turns and says, Father, it is safe. Turns and looks back at Uzo with um, as much admiration as you think a dragon could get. Uzo kind of in that same motion sort of not walks but motions to Baga. Yeah. Yeah, and Baga Bagamut uh comes up to you and nuzzles your hand on his forehead on his snout. Holy shit. You've and, grown up. And yeah, you suddenly just realize how big this dragon is as the serpent comes through. 20 feet above and then another 10 feet above that the actual dragon head comes through and as it comes through the ward breaks around it and just dissolves and falls in glitter technically well not technically but just pieces of magic falling off and dissolving as it hits the ground um, all around this Platinum dragon. And you feel a final rush of energy come out and envelop all of you. And we will get to the specific effects of that a little later, but you all feel rejuvenated as if you had just had a long rest. <laughs> Okay. And this dragon, this, again, this is a, you know, five foot wide head comes down Uzo to you and looks you straight in the eye as Bagam kind of steps over. Thank you. You have done what no one else could. All of you together and now what what there's more yet to come isn't there there is but things are moving now we have a bit of time but not much oh my god explain we, I am, um, you, how much time? An hour. We have one hour before we leave. To do what? Converse, prepare, plan. No, we leave to do what? What, what is it that there is to do? We have to fulfill the deal that we made. 
Ruckus, you know the deal. Amon. Yes. Yes. We go straight to hell from here. Oh, so you're our guide, and hopefully not a trial. I, I can get us there. Um, real quick question. <clears throat> you know, for uh, uh, fighting off orcs, uh, devils, um, the occasional blitch or two, we're, we're your guys. We are. Uh, but for killing gods, um, it's a little above our pay grade, I feel. Just wanted to know um, if you had taken that into consideration at all. Yes, look at him. yes. Let me see if my powers have returned. I feel they are not yet full. As he just, he rears, it doesn't really rear back, but he just steps and stands up, his head back up 40, 50 feet in the air. Cracks his neck and just like, you see his wings <laughs> fan out. And you just see the stretch. <laughs> Proving that, that dragons are in fact oversized cats. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and B Bangamon when seeing it also is like <laughs> popping. Uh, it, it, that's, it's, like, it's like a 12 foot wingspan on Bangamon. So it, it's, it's not small. And glorious and cute. Fascinating. Huzo, there is one problem with this. I can no longer be your patron. I don't know what that means. So, the palace. Uh, right. However, if you will have me, I will be your god. Oh my god, say I do. <laughs> Andraste right. is like confused, doesn't know what that means. Well, a, a, a freed god doesn't usually have warlocks, but they do have clerics and paladins. No, we've met a warlock. Right? Um, what was it? Ered. That Could was, heal. He, he was a, a, a warlock bound to the moon, a celestial body. A celestial warlock, if you will. But gods are gods are a different order of magnitude. Why 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 are we having a touch? I look up. What do you mean by that? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Uzo kind of is contemplating. He's looking at his hands, and then he kind of look looks back up at Bag Bagamat, and he just doesn't know what to make of all this. So he's listening to the conversation. You, you have earned this as a hand or a front foot claw hits the ground and shakes everything as you all feel this sudden rush of power as you are all granted two levels whoa yes <gasps> who's them <a> yeah <laughs> however your levels of warlock will stay but you must choose Paladin or Cleric, or anything else if you want. Sorry to throw this on you without <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no prep. warning. <laughs> no like warning, it. no prep, just go. <laughs> I love it. Bite the pillow. <laughs> Uzo, uh, so feeling uh, the Wrong. power and the strength, Uzo is kind of pacing around um, Bagamat and talking out loud and he's this entire journey has brought me to face myself and all of the things that I thought humanity was and was not. I was prepared to end it all and he looks at Andraste but keeps going and says walking around but then 
I found friendship looking at uh, Ruckus. And even though we tend to do things for selfish and greedy reasons, looking eye to eye in Remy, um, he turns to Bagamat and there is still some good in the world. And it will only subsist. It would only survive if we fight on behalf of it. I give my life to that through you. I will be your knight. And I will lead that charge. As he makes the mental decision to become sort of like a paladin-esque um, warrior. I don't know what that means, but if my time here in the hells is limited, it will be fighting on behalf of the good that I want to see carry on. And he's, he's petting Baga as he talks, Bagamat. Mm -hmm. Thank you, friend. Thank you all. And then he kind of holds his shard amulet and looks up to the ceiling. Thank you, Maduse, for teaching me that. And you all hear Kumara from the corner of the room. Holy shit! What the f What's on earth? I As you before. look over there, and there is a half elf, naked. Uh, just looking around, you know, dark, um, curly hair, uh, muscles, powerful. Wow. Oh. Okay, I look down I'm at naked. my sword. I'm naked, aren't I? Yes, you, you, yes, you are. Who are you? What are you holding, Cappy? I look down at my sword. You look down? Um, it is, it is your rapier. It looks no different. There is one difference. There's no Kumara inside of it. It is still your Hexblade weapon. Kumara is across the room. Does, hey, Ruckus, do you have that leotard I could borrow? Or I do. anything? You're going to look... Ah, yeah, I have it. Oh, man. Uh, honestly, you I'll better... take it. Deep in clothes. Armor, preferably. <laughs> Wash it very thoroughly upon its return. If it does not sparkle as brightly, I will be very upset. Wait a minute. Who are you? Why am I lending you clothes? I think I, I, your voice sounds I, familiar I, for one I moment. I step forward, and I'm just like, that, that is Kumara. I have been trapped inside that blade for too long. Hello, Kamara. You were trusting welcome, that guy? Welcome back out to the world. I step forward as a full ling and <laughs> reach my hand out. Uh, uh, interesting. Okay, so yeah, so no, he's he's regular size. It would be funny if he was he was large too. Um, <laughs> Wait, he stick my hand out. He's half, um, half elf magnificent. Yeah. He reaches it's a to and, finally meet you. And they, he shakes it. The, uh, it. What is attempted to be a firm grip, and then he just oh, kind of, oh, okay, I'm tired. I imagine uh, being brought to a physical body again must be exhausting. Yeah. I didn't think this would happen. I did it. As he looks up and just thank you for thank you, Uzo, for completing what I could not. And thank you, Bahamut, for not abandoning me as the dragon just 
kind of settles in a little. His... <laughs> Hello, kitty. Bagamot <laughs> is just going crazy on me right now. Just tail up. So just I'd imagine laid right on me just now. <laughs> okay. so it was kind of doing under the tail. what the cat is doing to Remy to Bagamot. Yeah. <laughs> He's 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 petting it and also hugging it at every chance and looking around and sort of like can't believe it's you and yeah. Huh. We have spent a lot of time together. Yes. That's we have. Uh, I You've am grown in see- to a fine young man. <laughs> <laughs> as of you, sir. As of you. I'm twice your age, bugger. <laughs> mm. I don't know about that. (laughs) You are beautiful, friend. And I can't wait to stand next to you in battle. Are you coming with us? Uh, And that, ah, yes, the plan. We have made arrangements, kind of. Time moves quickly now. And this this is Bahamut. Bagamat and I, as well as Asmodeus, together, we will secure the outside of the temple while you go in and face Mama. We will keep his masses of devils at bay. It will take everything we have. Is he expecting us? Can he sense your release? Tiamat can. And we have to finish this deal before she realizes that she can leave. You said we have an hour to prep. We have one hour, and then we leave. Can we do it? I'm feeling... I am feeling stronger already. I don't know what new abilities being uh, having sworn fealty to you I am gifted with but maybe you can explain it to me on the way. Paladins have a great power to smite. and to heal if needed. You can lay hands, much like you have done around Bagaha. Oh, a sense of humor. (laughs) Bagaha's like, ah, (laughs) damn. I like this one. It's, it is everything is surreal. Um, as as in the corner, out of the corner of your eye, you hear <laughs> as you look over and Kumara has finished putting on the leotard with a snap. Oh, I just it's, found some like cold clothes I should have given him instead. <laughs> as is like, I don't know, it, it, it's pretty tight and up in there, I imagine, as a leotard can be. <laughs> Uh, it is it is form fitting and magical, which means that it is no matter the person, it is form fitting. Wonderful. Yeah, my point stands. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so the the it is it is considered leather armor, which is why he was interested in that over just clothes. Just a heads up on everybody. If we stealth with him, uh, he's getting he's gonna be like a beacon. Uh, <laughs> and more so than I am. I'm a sound. Right. I just they just hear me coming a mile away. All the shifting in my armor. Well, I didn't I want think... to do this in depth about it. Stop me. Nah. Oh good. Okay, good. I'm hugging <laughs> I'm hanging to dry. Um <laughs> What about the weather team um, anybody? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Okay. You, if so, Bagamat and uh, Uzo are still sort of 
talking slightly enraptured with each other. And um, I guess you, I, I would assume that Baga would be talking to Uzo about oaths and things of that nature, sacred oaths. And uh, sure. Yeah. He will go over the list. He's like, oh, and this, this Tasha person has developed a couple of years. <laughs> When do I get to put my levels in? Uh, so, honestly, I think we're 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 probably gonna end the the game right here <laughs> uh, because you guys need time to level up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, if you would like to to discuss the leveling up uh, as we hang out here on screen, uh, we can do that. Yeah. Yeah. So yes, That's a funny one. Yeah. I had some questions. Um, I'm, going I'm dual class, I assume. Yes. Only in name. Okay, cool. But what do you mean by only name? No, no, buddy. Because you are multi-classed. Multi-class? Shit. Yeah. Okay. multi class <laughs> Nice. <laughs> multi-class. Yes. Multi-class. Okay. But I mean, that so wait, was... what? So like his paladin level is like two. Twelve. His... Yeah. Oh, well, his oh, no. two. 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 Your two. That's what level. I meant. That's how it works. Yeah. Your, your warlock Mother. level is ten, and your and your paladin level is two. You just couldn't give me twelve warlock, huh? Is that the way that works? All right. <laughs> I thought That's you funny. just completely shifted him to warlock. That's what I was curious. Uh, no, I don't want to take away your 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 abilities mm -hmm. that you had, which is okay. how you, you know, got to where you are. Yeah. Uh, shit. Be? If uh, so, so I will you say this. Lay hands. Let's lay hands. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I, I like. I want to see what happens. There's, there is technically one episode left after this. So. Do I get really those two spell slots additionally? Uh, you get uh, yeah, you get paladin. Paladin. paladin spell slots. Okay, double my spell slots. Hey, <laughs> to four. Yeah, but these yeah. are like level one spell slots yeah. as opposed to your level yeah. what four fives. Ooh, baby, a I get level. I get level six spell slots. I'm taking heal. I'm very excited. I'm happy. I, I don't. I get heal, which is mm -hmm. seventy points of healing on your head. Have fun. Imagine twin casting that. I have as Annika. It was great. Yeah. It was fucking orgasmic, actually, because I was flying and just went. You two, you both get seventy, and they were back on their feet. It was great. Oh, guys. Was okay, so I get to I get to choose between a feat. Yeah, and, I'm uh, decided to ASI. Go. I mean, if, we're, so, if it's the next episode. Mm -hmm. The ASI I would put into Charisma if I did that, and that would give me a 20 Charisma. 20, 20 decks, 20 Charisma. Shocking, no is one. Is what that would be. Yeah, and, and that would that would bring me up to 10, um, a plus 10 to my initiative roll. So it, it would be very powerful, but I think I'm going to take a feat. Savage Attacker. Oh yeah, which means I get to re-roll my damage every turn and take the higher of the two. Uh, Warren, I do want to. I do want to uh, because I threw that on you without prepping you, even though I meant to. Um, if you wanted to, um, Bagamot could be your warlock patron. Mm. If you wanted to take two more levels of warlock. Oh my god. Although I do, I do like the story of you becoming a paladin, but um, I don't want to like force that on you. Mm -hmm. I wonder. But I might have just given you choice paralysis. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pretty much. I mean, level twelve warlock's pretty fucking nice. Um, shit. As I was just looking at, like, is that's where you get a third spell slot? <laughs> <laughs> like. The one thing every warlock is just dying to get. Third spell. Sometimes spells. literally. What feat helps you fight a god? Yeah. Just... Spell sniper. Spell sniper is great. Oh, you mean for you? Because <laughs> <laughs> needs that. <laughs> I actually, I actually did take spell sniper for uh, my divine soul sorcerer, so I could stand two hundred and forty feet back and just huck crowns of, st of uh, stars from the crown of stars at it. It was great. I just want to hey, do this. Uzo right now is like at two hundred something feet away. Sorry. So the, lar 
Sorry. Raid. The Lark Network. Welcome to the chaos. Hey guys, we have- welcome. Raid Shades. <laughs> Thank you for joining. Uh, I approve. I Raid Shades. Disapprove. I, got I thought of it during the break. That's I horrible. Got While I was urinating. <laughs> Thanks, th- thanks, thanks for that, yes. buddy. Thank you for the raid. Uh, so, to catch you up on what has happened, um, we have <laughs> freed a, really cool a god, and they have uh, gained two levels doing so before the next episode, where it is an all out battle against the arch fiend Mama. Uh, because of the raid, we're going to do a giveaway of these Dungeons and Dragons minis. Uh, although, let me reset the. Uh, Giveaway because my pot likes to crash. So I get so. an additional spell at eleventh, but at twelve, I well uh, eleven, I also get Mystic Arcanum, which Rage I can learn a ninth level spell using this feature, and it would be separate from my spells. Oh, geez. So uh, and Warren, if you want to take you know the week and, and figure out exactly what you're going to do, you don't have to figure out now. Also, if you take the Warlock levels, you get the stat boost or the feat. So it's, I don't want to let, I don't want to force that on you. So you can do whatever you want. Uh, hashtag chaos in the chat for a chance to win one of these minis. Although, and then to, next time we're going to do one of these and the red dragon mini. Mm-hmm. Oh, die cast red dragon that's around here somewhere. Next Tuesday. You just make him change his uh, type of warlock to celestial. There you go. Oh. No. No? Chat, we need suggestions. Celestial warlock. So, uh, Warren, what do you get when you level up? Ninth level abjuration on warlock has imprisonment. Uh, what do I get when I when I level up? Um, for Warlock, at 11, I get an additional known spell and a known spell lot. My invocations doesn't go up uh, there, but I get a Mystic Arcanum, 6th level. At 6th uh, level, well, no. Yeah, 6th level. I'm sorry. It's not a ninth level. It's a 6th level. Um, and at, spell. at 12... Um, my invocation goes up by one. Ooh. You get devil sight like me. <laughs> it's useless. <laughs> this is, it's weird. Could, yeah, I'm done the- getting RP stuff. I want to do some damage. Mm. That Mystic Arcanum is basically another spell slot. Like, yeah. But you, it's like a domain spell kind of. It's like, oh, here's this one spell that you can cast once a day. Mm-hmm. But then, then it's like, oh, I have to find that spell. What is that one spell? Right. What is the one spell that's going to haul your ass out of hell? I want Shieldmaster, but I don't think it's going to help us much in the next. Circle of Death. Shieldmaster is great. I enjoy it a lot on Assault, but it, I, I don't know if it would work as well for you. Yeah, like you push a god like 10 feet and then like take <laughs> that. Asshole. No, it's, it's more about actually taking less damage on your dexterity saves. Right? Huh? That's the yeah. one where you get to jump up behind your shield. Yeah, that's yeah. the one. I, I I was reading the wording on it. From what I can tell, it's if you succeed it, you if you succeed the dexterity check, uh, you basically have the evasion effect where you don't take any damage. Like me. But it has to target only you, according to the way it's worded. Mm. So if it's a fireball, not so much. Is there a thing to protect other people? Uh, Tamago Torres says that there is a uh, a feat in Tasha's that uh, gets you an extra warlock invocation. <laughs> I could take that instead of Savage Attacker. Savage Attacker lets you re-roll once or any dice. No, it lets me re-roll once on my turn. Here, I'll read it. When All right. Uh, once per turn, when you roll damage for a melee weapon attack, you can re-roll the weapon's damage dice and use either total. Gotcha. And since Remy mm-hmm. only gets one attack per turn... Mm-hmm. Yeah. Notice it does not say once per round, so I get to do it on reaction opportunity type attacks as well. Warren is reaching straight out to the chat. 
They've they've got they've got the I mean the paladin thing works for role play and it makes sense and I like that story for Uzo. But I I'm against the god, I feel like I'm gonna be pretty ineffectual, ineffective. I just want to learn telling. Yeah, that feat or ASI is real powerful. I think that yeah. uh, that's that's definitely worth getting. If your concern is fighting the god. Yeah. Actually, you know what? At this point, if Uzo's story ends in hell, it doesn't doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> he's he's happy. You'd like that not to be the case? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Um. Yeah, next episode is it's a big battle finale. It is you're dropped right, you're dropped into hell, and and go. Fighting. I can't wait. Well, I guess we're going to need panache, which is my next ability. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, man, segues are hard. (laughs) Uh, uh, (laughs) You're not wrong. Bart rides them all the time. (laughs) Boom. Somewhat of a segue. Ow! (laughs) That was good. No, I mean, it wasn't great, but it wasn't. It was quite the least. (laughs) So basically, I get to use my action to make a charisma persuasion check, right? So I make a persuasion check. It could be during combat um, contested with a creature's wisdom insight. And um, they must be able to hear me and we have to share a language. If I succeed on the check and the creature is hostile to me, it has disadvantage on attack rolls against targets other than you and can't make opportunity attacks against targets other than you. This effect lasts one minute until one of your companions attacks the target or affects it with a spell, or until you and the target are more than 60 feet apart. If you succeed on the check and the creature isn't hostile to you, it's charmed by you for one minute. While charmed, it regards you as a friendly acquaintance. It, it, it ends immediately if your companions do anything harmful to it. So that's fun. We'll see how I use that. Hold on, I'm, I'm, I'm getting breaking news. Breaking news, everyone. Breaking news. Uh, oh, wow. According to NGC 457, uh, Savage Attacker only rerolls uh, weapon dice, weapon damage. What? He can die. Oh, it does say for a melee weapon attack. Yeah, but then it says damage dice. You can reroll the weapon's damage dice and use either weapons. total. Damage dice. Yeah, that's that is specific. Is sneak useful. attack considered weapons mm. damage dice? That's got to be a. A, mm. Jeremy Crawford must a, have weighed in on that at some point. Yeah. I'm I'm sure Seth is right. I have, so I still have a Flamberge, the other one, not the flam. I have the flam, the original and the Flamberge of the night. And if I take dual wielder, I think it's worth it to like have two Flamberges at all time. But it would be harder. No, I wouldn't. I could still go two handed on one Flamberge. Because I could just t- recall the Flambers of the Night if I drop that one. But what does team think? I'm curious. I Input? mean, you you would effectively get three attacks per yeah, turn. Yeah, no, I, I'm excited about it. Ooh, baby, a triple. I'm excited about that. I mean, uh, that's that, that's what my my sword bard does. Two, two attacks with, with the main hand and then one attack with the offhand. Well, I already get an extra attack at 11th level. So I'm going to be being You'd be able, able to, to attack that. four times. And if I had dual wielding, that's just so much damage. Is it? I I, I think that your AC is going to be necessary in hell. I'll just put it that way. So I'm 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 team shield all the way. I think you have Uzo who can hit pretty hard, myself who can hit pretty hard, and yourself who now has three attacks, you can hit pretty hard. Plus you have a bonus action as well. Um, so I would I would stick with sword and board personally. Which one? Or shield master? Or which oh one? no, I don't, not, I don't not know if you were. Yeah, just not dual wielding. Oh, uh, okay. I would advise against that. Yeah. Okay. Plus, you've got a, a half elf and very fancy leotard who can totally use a flame burst. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> you can have the throwing axes. He hmm. won't be joining you in this, uh, in this combat. Is he going to be I strong see? enough after only like resting for an hour? Is he going to be good? I don't know, you just leveled up. 
I, I had don't know. No connection the character to him. Yet. We'll see. <laughs> Ruckus had no connection to him, so I'm sure he'll be just fine enough. <laughs> So shield master. I have no idea what I have no idea what to do, honestly. I could take mobile. And even though I I I already have one of its effects, it would still increase my speed by ten feet. Mm -hmm. This is making it harder to read these uh, raid shades. (laughs) So speaking of raid shades, let's let's pull for that giveaway. Yeah, let's do it. Bo, put on your raid shades. And if everyone else has raid shades, put on your raid shades. They're back at home. Sorry. Can you drive back real quick? I th- we'll still be on. We'll no. Wait. I feel like I should nah. be in a blues band with this look I got going on. <laughs> <laughs> just, just imagine me with pink glasses on. Those are my rain shades. Just use your imagination. I do remember them for the last time you wore them, actually. Yeah. Oh, they're good. Those are tight Solid. shades. Real nice. Oh, I love them. They're my Rowan glasses. Ooh. And just a reminder that uh, we're rolling for a mint box of these guys. And uh, if you are in the U.S., you'll get this. If you're outside the U.S., we'll uh, get you a Nord Games PDF deck. Here we go. What is my spellcasting? Congratulations to Acknord. Cheers. Congratulations. Congrats, congrats, congrats. Rigged. <laughs> you are the raid master. Time. It's my spell casting ability modifier. Well, if you're a warlock or a paladin, it's charisma. It's charisma. charisma. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, uh, paladins, paladins are also charisma. So even though I have this paladin first level spell of heroism, let's say, I cast that on Ruckus. Um, he gets temporary hit points um, equal to my spellcasting ability modifier. Creatures immune from being frightened and gains temporary hit points equal to your spellcasting. So he just gets an additional five? Yes, I think so. Yes. Yep. Ooh, at the start of each of its turns. So it, it, it keeps going up. What? So most of the time, um, uh, temporary hit points don't stack. But with heroism, at the start of every turn, he would get five temporary hit points. And that would keep going up. Assuming he doesn't get whacked and lose them. Is that concentration? Yes. Up to is, a armor, is armor of Agatha's concentration? Uh, uh, let me see. Casting time components. It doesn't say. I don't see it as concentration. It is not concentration. So cool. Armor of Agathus is a great spell. Mm-hmm. Chat uh, or team. What other feats lean towards def- uh, AC boosting in it, the AC? Oh, I just meant to keep your shield, but. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Um, mm. I was saying don't dual wield because your shield will be important. Mm-hmm. Mm. But my question still stands. Hmm. I don't know of any personally. I know that you have fighting styles, right? That that'll let you pick up, right? Like defense. I have like tough. Oh, uh, there might be a, a feat that lets you get another fighting style. I don't know. Hmm. Ooh, I mean, it's Seth really hard to read in these. Rage if games. Uzo sticks with warlock, he can do inspiring leader feat. And give everybody seventeen temp HP. Hot. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I just I just see there's like this like if there were meters, you'd be like paladin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh wait, what about this? Ah, oh, warlock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's leaning about- towards warlock, but um, I think uh, who was it in chat? Somebody had mentioned. Oh, Duke Fleeg had mentioned. You know, play it more as an acolyte. Mm-hmm. 
Um, yeah. I imagine there's there's going to be uh, severe ramifications for you know reintroducing a god of good back to the world. Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he just gets a job, um, you know. <laughs> a lawful good god, no less. Yeah. Polar master, switching it up. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> The last fight, you're gonna go. You're gonna go with a fucking glaive or something. Nothing built towards this, and that's why it's satisfying. <laughs> Dude, if you had, if you if you had a glaive, though, you would fuck. Really? You get a reach of ten feet. Um, and if you have a polar master, well, just look at it. It's. Yeah, you can just sit sit on the boat while people charge you, and you just stab them in the neck. <laughs> Get out of here. Go on, get. <laughs> these eyes, my eyes are hurting with these shades because they're yeah. blood red. It's How about you hot. take them off? No, because the, the, it's raid shades. The raid is over. We've given up the, the prize for the raid. Oh. Yeah. I like the shade. <laughs> <laughs> I will accept that answer. <laughs> Uzo's going to accept that he fights on behalf of a lawful good God, um, but maybe being beholden to those decisions. Uh, it's going to be hard not to kill people who have justice coming to him. Um, yeah, be definitely more acolyte. It's like, look, do as I say, not as I do. All right. <laughs> you know, it's just it, just being more, more picky with who you murder hobo. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Literal murder hobo, but he's going to um, probably 80% stay with the warlock path. I might go with tough just to give myself 24 more hit points. Big. Hmm. I'm looking at that fighting style thing. I mean, that would take me up to 117 hit points. I think it's I think it's very interesting how different the game is when you don't have unlimited advantage. <laughs> is that right? So have you like, noticed the market like difference? It's like there's consequences too. <laughs> consequences. Uh, Which I, I also I also think is funny that nobody nobody ever grants you the card that gives you advantage. <laughs> right? It's there. You guys could give it to us, but you don't. When we level up, do we have the option to change something from our past skills as well? Because I just realized that my original first level fighting style was two weapon fighting, and I've never <laughs> done that. <laughs> and there's right above it, thrown weapon fighting, which would have been increasingly helpful for me. Uh, you, you absolutely can change that out. That is ridiculous. <laughs> and I love so you can change that to defense too, just if you wanted to know what AC is there. Sure. Do you not uh, have defense? I thought you had defense. You I had defense. defense. Yeah, you have defense. Can That's I how you're a different class? Class? Mm -hmm. That is an excellent point, Tamagotora. More hit points means more life transference. <laughs> Can't oh, imagine how that would be useful. <laughs> how do you spell Momon? M A M M O N. Hey, no metagaming. What are you doing? Come on. Um, I'm assuming that Bagamet and Bahamut would have told us. I mean, they're a not good amount. A hundred percent versed on. Uh, first off, there's no stat block, so uh, it's uh. coming up here. Um, it is. There's a couple of different, uh, I guess, uh, descriptions. One of them is a big snake-like being. Um, so like. Uh, like a yun tea, but um, bigger. Uh, the other is just more of a more humanoid appearance. Um, and it, there's really no, I don't think there's a, a current 5e description of Maman. Yeah. 
Now let's look in Warden Kanan's Tome of Foes. It's just a small little uh, lords and their thralls. But you shouldn't read that. <laughs> I won't. Yeah, I'm going to have to think about this because I don't... So thinking out loud, I cast more than anything else. My wisdom is maxed out. I could add plus two to my dexterity and give myself a little bit more AC, which would be nice. Um, I don't really hit things, so adding more to strength is not really terribly useful. Con is nice, but I, I, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I think we just all take the lucky feet. Honestly, I'm kind of... <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Oh, neat. I can see all of your guys' roles in D&D Beyond. Oh, yeah. I was trying to see if I... Mm. What, you know, what the fuck would that give me? Sure. How do you see their roles? So in it... in D&D in, in Beyond, if you look at the top where it's um, share, short rest, long rest, and next to it is the campaign, there's a little red box on the right side of the name of the campaign and you can click on it and see all the roles. <clears throat> Game log. Nice. All right. Well, I think, uh, I think we're going to wrap it up here tonight. We're going to end it a little bit earlier than normal. Uh, thank you guys for sticking with us uh, for joining us on this awesome adventure that has come to a major milestone. And we're almost we've got, done. We've got one episode left. Wow. One episode left. 96. Damn. Wow. That's crazy. So. Damn. And then after, so we will have one episode left and then after that we will have one big ask us anything, hang out, question answer period and then we're gonna jump and do some we're gonna do some other cool uh games so there's another carbon coming up um we have the dates with us those are that's coming way up right coming up close uh that's yeah like i just need your week. character bro yeah <laughs> will yeah, that's the third and fourth of next month, isn't it? Yes, so the sorry. third and fourth, Wednesday and Thursday of next week. We are doing special Carbon 2185, DM by our fabulous Warren. Urban Mask, as he likes to be called. <laughs> Pistol. No, my pew, 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 pew. So much going on. <laughs> Look at that shimmy. Are you going to be running it, or am I going to be doing it from here? Uh, stream. I will run the stream. Okay. Uh, so that you don't, you can, you can focus. Run roll twenty and do that stuff. Gotcha. All right. So let me go to the end screen. So we're gonna wrap it up. Any uh, so it's Tuesday at nine twenty six p.m. Um, tomorrow. I don't know what time. What time does the redacted reports hit? The redacted reports hits at, I believe, eight o'clock in the morning Pacific time. Uh, the next episode drops tomorrow. I'm very so excited. That, that will drop tomorrow. We've got um, more Rhyme of the Frost Maiden on Saturday, more Down Darker Trails on Saturday evening. We are either a turn and tail. Uh, having a whole big gunfight we've we've got bad choices to make and we're gonna make them you're not wrong sounds like fun and, relatable and then and then on sunday uh we're not gonna stream this but on sunday we're gonna have the first guild of the five knees game so that should be a lot of fun there will be a dinosaur in that. <laughs> yep it's that that's okay <laughs> you did this to yourself. I did. Uh, I, I was a big fan of Amy's halfling outrider character in 
where she rode on a big mastiff and shot her bow and used teleport magic. Nice. So, I imagine it's the same thing, except for everyone runs screaming at the same time. Oh my God. I, I, I have friends who play halflings and gnomes that ride blink dogs mm. and, you, and use that ability, because that's cool. Yes. All right, so cool. So thank you everybody, uh, full pack week. Thank you for sticking with us and we will see you on Saturday.